Bay State Park. On our way. Well, we, we there, baby. Yeah, we there. We almost there. So, hang on. Sit tight. We'll be with you. finally got set up once again like I said we're at Maumee Bay State Park in Oregon Ohio it's right outside of Toledo Ohio so finally got set up this is our site we are on uh, site 231 so we're in like the roundabout like a, it's a circle where we at you tighten it up gonna take a little tour and walk around for a little while and then I get my dinner started for tonight what you think I hate when you rush hurry up and do stuff because you forget so much stuff especially when you switch it from one RV to the other you forget things I'm so mad look we left the signpost to hang our little sign up But that's okay. We left some, a, a whole lot of other stuff, but we're gonna make it do what it do. Oh, that's all in camping. You forget things and you figure it out or you just don't do, you know, you figure it out. You know what I'm saying. All the campers know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna walk around. So you have some pretty good privacy some are well shadowed than others like you could still see through to your other neighbors to your neighbors but then some of them the trees are filled in a little bit more so you can't really you have more privacy I 
and it's a pretty big state park too it's huge we'll show the layout later on in the video so we taking a hey, walk hi hey, how you doing I know we like YouTube. I mean, oh yeah. Oh okay. What's your name? Uh, Jeff. I'm Anthony. Anthony. Jeff. Nice to meet you. Donya. Donya. Nice uh -huh. to meet you. We have a YouTube channel called Rolling with the Rail. Rolling with Dim Rails. Camping. Yeah. Nice. I love yeah. it. Yeah. There's nothing more fun, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So we give y'all something so you, I have my shirt on right here, yeah, so you, you can su subscribe. I got some little cars. I'll pass them out to you. You guys here for the whole weekend? Yep. Yeah, we got okay. bikes. Nice setup. Yeah, we got bikes, guitars. Oh, okay. Uh, a couple small campers and uh, some wine, you know. And we definitely coming down here. Too. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Can you see? Yeah. Where are you guys from? We're from Cleveland. Cleveland, Cleveland area. Yeah. How uh, how far do you guys travel to camp? Oh, we've been everywhere. We be at a lot of race tracks too, so I race bikes. So. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We be down south a lot. Yeah. yeah, like motocross stuff. Uh, I used to motocross when I was when I was younger, but I drag race now. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty intense. <laughs> what do you drive? Uh, motorcycles. Oh, motorcycles. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah motocross, well, we do a lot of mountain biking. We got some. You silly. Hey, and they're the real weekend warriors. <laughs> we were coming to look for you guys. <laughs> how are you doing? Nice to meet you, too. Yes, yes. Hey, Vic, how are you? Good, good. Anthony, I'm Korean. Yeah, yeah. Where are y'all way down Way down there. So, we're going to do fish taco. Oh, de Mayo. So... We decided to do fish tacos and we're gonna do fried corn on the cob and we're gonna have margaritas. So, bend the corn in. Check this out, y'all. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Cooking with oil, baby. You ain't had, you ain't had fried corn. I'm Don't let nobody tell you this. <laughs> There's another one in there. Yeah, you can. While the fried corn is cooking, I prepped my fish already. So I'm doing fish nuggets. And um, I got this idea for my daughter with this Asian coleslaw. So I just added. It was pretty good. So it was some Asian. And it comes with a, a, a maple bourbon vinaigrette. So I cut up some onions in there and then I cut up some cilantro and added that to it. So I'm gonna attempt to make this cilantro sauce to go on top of the fish tacos. So, this is my first time making it, so you guys are going to be making it with me. And guess what? It's going to be great. So, I got my line. Then I have uh, 
I'm gonna squeeze some lime juice. Let me see, y'all can see. And a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. I'll be right back, y'all. So I'm gonna Cilantro, lime, sauce to drizzle on top of the fish tacos. Know that it. Let's see. Let's taste. cilantro in here. Not bad. I think it needs some like just a little tangy. I wouldn't mind putting just like a little bit of sugar. Okay. Work with me here, y'all. I got this simple syrup just to make it drop down some of the acidity that's in it. Just a little bit. Like I said, we doing this together. it right there just putting that little bit of sugar in there it knocked down some of the acidity that was in it and it cut down some of the bitterness okay so my cilantro lime sauce is ready I got my Asian coleslaw that I mixed up and I cut up some onions and some cilantro to add to the slaw And then we're gonna get these fish. As soon as the corn is done, we're gonna get the fish in. All right, so the corn came out. While we're waiting for the fish to get done, I'm gonna make a margarita. So, I'm gonna use, uh, I'm using Patron Resposado today. I just grab whatever. Got my lemon, I mean my lime. Patron orange liqueur that I'm using instead of triple sack. I'm using this orange liqueur. It's going to be good and strong. A little agave. And 
I wanted a little flavor, so I'm going to add some of this watermelon pucker in here. It's good though. It's strong. Yeah, that's pretty good there. I gotta put my ice in. But this is good. This is strong. Just a hint of watermelon flavor in there. Who knows? I might do another flavor. I think I could put a little bit more lime in there. That's good right there. It's, it's good right there. Mm-hmm. So look y'all, while I'm waiting for the food to get done, look what I made. I made margarita cupcakes. I put tequila in the cupcakes. Yeah, I put tequila in the cupcakes. And then the icing is margarita, lime margarita. I call it the icing, but it has tequila in the icing as well. These are gonna be yum yum. I made it festive like Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Put the small on top. Then we got this cilantro wine sauce. And we got the corn on the cob. There it is, y'all. Fish tacos, fried corn on the cob, and I put some little tater tots on the side. And that's din din today. The ribs is about to eat a little something, you understand? Fish tacos. Are you just saying that? <laughs> what kind of sauce is that? You like it? Mm -hmm. Where? On here? I ain't put it on that one. I taste it. Oh, it must be in the fucking slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you like it with that uh, cilantro lime sauce? It's real good. Parts. 
Right. Rock, right. get over here. We made it to the group, Rock. everybody. Oh, Sit. That's Sir R1. Rich. Sit. That's Glam Fam. And that's the real weekend warriors. Sir Rich. What up, y'all? What up, dog? Who we met? You stay pink panties. Pink panties is in the in the cup. Yeah, I in I the cup. A short Compliments of Vic. You did. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. So today I'm gonna do a little Chinese takeout. So our dinner for tonight is gonna be shrimp fried rice and vegetable egg rolls. So I'm prepping my egg rolls so I can put them in the freezer. So, I'm um, letting you see the process that I do with my egg rolls. I started it. I don't know if you can see. Put the camera a little bit closer. <laughs> so, I have some coleslaw mix. Onions, some onions, and a little seasoning, and some bean sprouts. So I got some bean sprouts. So this is just some coleslaw mix. And I cut up some onions. And I put a little seasoning. This is just a little um, onion garlic pepper seasoning. It has salt in here as well. My bean salt. So we just cook it down. And you could put anything you want in them. You could put mushrooms in here. You can add, these are gonna be vegetable egg rolls, but uh, you can also put shrimp, egg, shrimp, chop up some shrimp in here. You can even put chicken or what have you, but I'm keeping it vegetable egg rolls today. These ones are in there. I don't need to add any more seasoning. It's perfect. I'm gonna assemble, make the egg rolls. Uh, my egg roll wrappers. I do a water. Put a little water in the bowl. So. Take one sheet. So then I take the water and I just take my finger. I do have a brush, but I didn't bring it. But you can still take your fingers. My hands are clean. I washed them. So then you just scoop in some of your egg roll mixture. So I do it in a triangle. Let me see, can you see? to get it where you guys can see 
So it's in a triangle. Put a little bit more. Then you just roll. You roll it a little. Then you fold the ends in. I'm going to do it again, you guys. I'm going to... See, this is my egg roll. So I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see. Hopefully you can see now. Let's see. Okay, so some more. So like I said, this is I got it diagonally. Then you roll it. Then you turn the ends in, fold the ends in like that and then you continue to roll that's your egg roll wanted to make some more but this is going to be a big one right here because <laughs> that's all the filling I had left I might have to double this one so it, if it break because I put a lot in this one no nope, we're good so there you have it guys so here's my egg rolls. And I'm just going to wrap them, cover the pan up, and put it in the freezer. And then I'll be back to show you the next process. So we're at the lodge. Um, we were renting some bikes. We forgot our bikes. So we were renting some um, bikes. And so we had to come to the lodge. It is very pretty out here. I'm going to turn around. Those where you rent the bikes. And today they had a uh, look. They had a, a bird bird watch today. So. campsite for a little while got a pool table and some games and then yeah hey 
So it's a nice little getaway away from the campground. If you don't feel like cooking, you can order pizza here or you can go into the restaurant. That's, it's, it's really nice in here. Um, I'm gonna take you around a little bit more. It's really nice in here. I don't know the prices of the lodge. Cause like I said, we're staying at the campground, so. But it's another alternative if, if you do not want a tent camp or be in your RV, you can also rent the lodge out. So this is the marina area. This is the marina where some of the boats are coming dock at in the summer. We got a guy there fishing. We got us a pretty nice ride back to the campsite. This way, this way. My wife, I don't know. I don't know if she had a bicycle when she was a kid. <laughs> She's struggling a little bit. This is a beautiful place here. Everything's so serene. Got a little overcast, but it's supposed to warm up a little bit later. But that's the lodge over there. And they have tennis courts and basketball courts. You know, if you want to shoot some hoop or get your tennis on. We're gonna ride back to the camp and we'll get back with y'all in a minute. Peace. Boy, when I tell you I'm out of shape, this is where we need to invest in some electric bikes. That was a long ride. I was going so fast, I left Anthony. Because I was trying to hurry up to get to the site. Get back to the site. I don't even know where he is. I was pushing. He gone. <laughs> Shoot. I done lost him. <sighs> Time to take a break. It's so peaceful out here right now. Here in our all the birds and crickets and water very peaceful that's the that's the rebel's fried rice rebel shrimp fried rice that's that red fried rice y'all
Good dog right there. Right. Good dog, yeah. So, yes, shout out to all you guys. Yep. We, as far as we are concerned, from this point forward, guys, we are family. Yep, so, if y'all need something from us, y'all let us know. All right. Appreciate all right. you. Beautiful, y'all. Right, y'all, that's all right. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate uh -huh, you. No problem. Good morning. Well, it's that time again. Go home, Dad. Back to reality. We had a great time here at Mommy, Mommy Bay State Park. It was a wonderful time. Uh, we packing it up. Let's see. It's a little gloomy, rainy morning. So we decided we're going to cut out a little early. It's cold and wet. We had a nice time. I want to thank y'all for watching and staying along with us. And until next time, when we roll out, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you'll know whenever we put upload another video. And on that note, we're rolling. Check you next time. <laughs>